Hey, this is Doug Smith. I am broker owner of DHS Realty. And uh, Friday, uh, start of the weekend, we're finishing up our series on working with a landlord. So um, basically what you're gonna do is yesterday we ended with you're putting a sign in the yard. Uh, you're gonna get a spare key, put an electronic key box on the front door, explain to them about safety, don't let anybody in. Then you're gonna head back to anything that has Wi-Fi. That's what's unique about our company is that we're remote real estate. And um, you're gonna log into MLS. That website's matrix.netris.net. Once you log in in the top right corner to from the right, you're gonna see input. You're gonna hit input. You're gonna hit add new. You're gonna select uh, lease because this won't be a house. So you'll select residential lease and, um, and then you will uh, start putting it in. Um, it's really basic. Um, as you start going through uh, that input screen, it'll pull the property from the tax roll. Uh, you'll put submit. I always like to go to the very last tab, which is status and hit active and hit submit. And that way it tells you every tab starting from left to right that has a red X that you have to get that red X to go bye-bye. Um, you'll load the pictures. Uh, you can load uh, landlord criteria. Um, you can load a floor plan. You can make it as informative as you want on that uh, listing for the landlord. Uh, in it, you'll say how you want the application done. If it's a Texas Realtor application, which is our trade association, uh, it's not called TAR anymore. So. Um, got to go with the changing times. It's called Texas Realtors. They're going to have an application. Uh, most of the time, that's what you do. It could be that it's online if you're with a different brokerage firm, but with us, you use the Texas Realtors form. Um, you, you could uh, tell them what the app fee is, usually $50, $60 per applicant over, $100, uh, over 18. And then um, they're basically going to, uh, it's going to go into the MLS and now it'll be a search criteria. And when somebody shows it, the tenant agent will text you and see if it's still available. You'll say yes. You'll tell them uh, what app to uh, fill out, where to send it to, where to make payment for the app fee. And then I go to Collin County Association of Realtors, CCAR, uh, the, one of the best uh, boards in the area in the state of Texas. And uh, they're going to, um, you'll fill out a credit app form. Uh, they'll get to, back to you in a day or day and a half and tell you the credit history and the criminal background history. You'll forward it to your landlord, um, and then you'll do the lease. You'll get the tenant agent to sign it um, with the tenant. I mean, the tenant will sign it because there's no uh, initials for either agent on the uh, actual lease. And then the tenant will either wire or bring a cashier's check for the first month's rent and the security deposit. And the agents are paid off the first month's rent. So that pretty much finishes up uh, working with a landlord A to Z. We started uh, Monday, we're ending today. Next week, we're gonna go through the five-part series Monday through Friday of working with a builder. Uh, Y'all be safe, have a great weekend.